Do you know how to work with parallel lines? Do you know how to find the equations for parallel lines? Let's take a look at how to do this. First, let's talk about parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that have the same slope. So if you know the slope of one line, you can determine the slope of the lines that are parallel to this first line. So let's look at this equation y equals 3x plus 4. Now, the slope is 3. We know that because this is in slope intercept form, and 3 is the slope for this line. So every other line that's parallel to this line is going to have a slope of 3. Now, how could you determine the equation for a line parallel to this one? Well, you need a little more information. So let's say you've been given the equation for the first line and you've been given a point on the second line. Can you figure out the equation? Let's take a look. First, here's the equation we're going to work with. y equals 3x plus 4. This is the equation for the first parallel line. And here's a point on the second line. 2, 3. Now you've been given the slope and a point. So it makes sense to use the point-slope form. y minus y1 equals the slope times the quantity x minus x1. Now we can take the values that we have been given and substitute them into this form of the equation. y minus y1, y1 is 3, equals the slope, which is 3, times x minus x1, which is 2. Now we're going to use the distributive property to get rid of the parentheses on the right side of the equation. y minus 3 equals 3 times x, which is 3x, minus 3 times 2, which is 6. Now we want to get y alone, so the form of the equation will be in slope-intercept form. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. And these cancel. y is equal to 3x minus 3. Now we have two equations. We have y equals 3x plus 4, and we have y equals 3x minus 1. Here are the two equations that we're going to work with, and we're going to graph these lines and see if they're parallel. Let's write those equations down again. y equals 3x plus 4, and y equals 3x minus 3. Now let's graph them. Let's start with the first equation. It has a y-intercept of positive 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It has a slope of 3. 1, 2, 3 over 1. There's our first line. Now let's look at our second line. 3x minus 3. So this one has a y-intercept of negative 3. 1, 2, 3 and it has a slope of, again, 3. 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Let's connect that line. Notice that both of these equations have the same slope, so they are parallel. And here's the graph of these two parallel lines.